Welcome back to PlayStation Corner, my name is Alex and today we're taking my weekly look at my favourite deals coming in under $10 or your local currency across PSN stores for the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. I'm also trying something new this week, I've got a free $10 PSN gift card to give away. All you need to do to enter, drop a comment down below and the winner they'll be chosen in next Saturday's video. With that though, like hit subscribe, join our growing PlayStation family and let's get started. So as always, look, I do focus on all-time low prices for the majority of the deals today. If that is not the case, though, I will let you know as we do have a few this week. So kicking us off, we've got Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 remastered. They're currently all offering 50% off that price you see at the top of the screen. That is each installment, not all three, because, well, I mean, I wish that was the price. First thing to know with these though, they are available for free right now with PS Now if you do use that service. It's not for me personally, but I still wanted to give them a quick shout out because these are some of my favorite games and if anyone deserves our cash, it is this studio. I think they do incredible work and these cover a good portion of Kasuma's tale. Part RPG though, part great brawler, all absolutely genius. Going retro then, we've got Disney classic games Aladdin and Lion King. Not a huge amount to say on these honestly, just great retro platformers that stand up to this day. And it's just a nice package throwing in multiple builds of each title, the history and all sorts of like think, galleries. Just be warned though, they are surprisingly like difficult games, especially Lion King, so do not let that Disney name fool you. More than worth it though with 60% off, especially if you grew up on them like me. The rewind function and the save states are an absolute godsend. Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight then is actually slightly higher in price than the previous low, but I'm talking like a dollar or so, and we haven't seen that price now in a decent while. Plus, I still don't think you can knock 70% off. This rhythm game, though, it throws in a story centered around, of course, the Phantom Thieves, and the gameplay, you have a dial around the screen, and you need to hit the notes in time as they fly across the screen. So I think the face button's on the right side, the D-pad on the left. Just know there is another installment, that is Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. That one's not discounted right now, but you can pick up a bundle with both discounted, but it's also, of course, double the price. Also, if you are curious about it but not sure, there's a demo available on the PSN store as well. Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales then is a great use of the license if you like your card games as it's the single player component for Gwent the card game. The story here centers around you know heading to war and it's worthy of the name. It's got a great cast of characters and also locations to explore. While the graphics then as well they might be far removed from you know what we saw in The Witcher 3, the hand drawn style is still beautiful and it's absolutely stunning in motion. 70% off, it's a steal for this one in my opinion and it's got a whole lot of content to get you through. For those then that watch Switch Corner as well, I mention this one often but Felix the Reaper, this one gets mixed reviews when you look at them but I'm a big fan of its style from the graphics to the fact Patrick Stewart did the voiceover to the gameplay which is all kind of shadow puzzles as you move around different locations. The story though, you are deaf and you are on a journey, you're chasing after the love of your life, but along the way you'll be dancing and killing people as needed because, well that's kind of the job. A monster monster discount though here with 90% off. Matching its all time low price then is steep with 75% off. I feel like this one gets mixed opinions, but I picked it up back at launch and I was a fan of its style. It's an open world covering the Alps and Alaska and you can snowboard, ski, wingsuit and paraglide. This is Ubisoft, so there's a ton of paid DLC because, I mean, of course, but I like the base game. I never really invested in anything else. And in my opinion, we just don't get enough snowboard games nowadays, so we absolutely need more. So the forest and I picked this one up in a previous sale back in January. It was actually my pickup of the week in an older video. Now I'm good with recommending it, especially factoring in it's dropped even further now to 60% off. A first person survival experience and I gotta say here I knew it had a horror element to it given the fact you're dealing with cannibals after a plane crash but I didn't realize how much it would kind of get under my skin. Not quite up there with Think Along Dark, but still a very good survival experience that's going to be worth a look. The Last Guardian, now then, the only other game on today's list that's slightly more expensive than its lowest ever price, but again, look, it's been a while since we've seen that price, and the studio behind this one 
They are just masters with previous games including the likes of Shadow of the Colossus. Here though we're getting a third person action adventure with puzzles and the story is just really good stuff as a young boy meets this creature and like an unbreakable bond is formed. Looks stunning as well and I highly recommend it, the discount or not to be honest but yeah at least at the moment you can get 50% off. Unrailed next and this is a seriously creative single or multiplayer game where the concept is simple enough you lay train track as a train moves along you've basically got to stop it from crashing. In single player it's fun but it's at its best in multiplayer as you mine, you get water, you build track but you only have so many tools so communication with your team is absolutely essential. Now as you progress then the terrain's going to get more treacherous, the train is going to get bigger and quicker, enemies attack and destroy your work and even the camera it starts to push against you as it actually starts to rotate to the point where it's actually upside down. One of the best multiplayer party games I've played in a long time and it's just about sub $10 with 50% off. Relicta then if you want to use that brain power this might be the game for you honestly a first person puzzler that takes influence from games like Portal and then the lesser known Cube 2. This one though it's all about understanding gravity shifts and magnetism and it's guaranteed to give you a challenge. It's just a very cool world and the story is good but I will say the writing it's kind of a little off, feels a little bit forced at points it's going for this kind of mature theme. Otherwise though look if you are looking for that kind of first person puzzle experience you can do a lot worse than this and it brings it sub $10 for only the second time since release. My pickup of the week then is Erika, I can't recommend it, never played it but I hear great things about it and yes it was a PS Plus title at one point last year and yes like an idiot I forgot to download it. This FMV though it seems to get rave reviews so if you've played it do let me know if it's worth it in the comments below. The story though it seems to surround a family murder and nightmares though it sounds unique and of course then it has multiple endings for multiple playthroughs so yeah I'm going to give it a go with this 50% off. Project Warlock then is for you retro shooter fans, it's a tribute to the likes of Doom and Duke Nukem and it does a hell of a job of mirroring its influences with some quality gunplay and great old school pixel work. Where this one modernizes things though is just content, the 60 levels, tons of weapons and you can actually upgrade your hero fire pints, you even get spells and the soundtrack kicks ass as well. Our penultimate game of the week then this is Rainbow Six Siege Deluxe Edition, another one I picked up in a previous video because just got the PS5 and it included a free upgrade. It'd been years honestly since I'd played this one so I wanted to give it a go. Four months later I can still tell you it's challenging as hell, I still suck, but it's addictive and the amount of content and how far it's come since that initial release is honestly incredible. Feels like a near different game. This version though then it throws in extra content on top of the base game because well, it's called a deluxe edition. You've got the year one and year two operators pack. There's basically no better place to start if you like the idea of a more tactical first person experience. The community online as well it's absolutely massive. It's 75% off though and I will give the heads up you know we see this price all the time maybe every couple of months so I wouldn't say there's a rush to jump on this one. Our final game of the week then it's Star Wars week so like May the 4th is upon us so I'm going with a classic that is Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Not a new all time low price because of course they bumped it just slightly you know which isn't surprising given the fact the internet is about to go crazy over Star Wars but this is a fantastic racer that I grew up on that everyone should play. Now sure look the visuals are dated but it just captures the universe perfectly. It's basically the best scene from episode 1 and the 60 frames per second and speed you just can't beat it as you choose a pod and get to work like on winning across multiple planets. The only issue I have with this release personally it's a little lazy with just offline play only there is no online which seems kind of like a missed opportunity. Before we do end the video though look this is not the only Star Wars game on sale right now in fact there's about 10 or so on sale as well so later in the week to celebrate May the 4th I'm going to be releasing a sales video and just general overview of all Star Wars games available on PlayStation so you can get an idea of you know which ones are potentially worth the add to your library. That's it though another week down will you be adding anything new to the library this week or are you holding on to that cash? Thank you as always then for checking out the video it means a whole lot to me all the support. Last month we added nearly a thousand subscribers which is just crazy and with that luck hit subscribe join our growing PlayStation family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.